Welcome to the Twine Beginners Series by Digital Exposure TV. The codes in this video are compatible with the story formats of Harlow 2.0.1 and Harlow 1.2.4. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add background music to your Twine project. Now, this can be quite simple if you already have your own website and you have your own files on there already. But I'm going to show you how to start your own website very quickly and easily, completely for free, uh, to host your content. So that includes images and audio. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you. So if you've got your own website already, you want to add your files, like see how I've got these images and this music and sound effects here. You need to add them as files so that someone can click on the file like this and then you'll hear the music and the URL above that so that when you've clicked on the file it plays in a window like this. That's what you need the URL for. It needs to be that specific screen. Just like when you open up an image, um, like if I go to this image here, that image is open on its own, self-contained in a window, which is essentially what you need with the audio as well. So if you can do that yourself on your own website, that's brilliant. That um, means that this is gonna be a lot quicker and easier for you. So if we go back into our project and you go to your story and we're going to use the edit story JavaScript window and this is the code that you need and I've already pasted in my URL there and you can see I just highlighted it. Um, so you throw in your URL into that section and if this is going to work correctly it will turn that mustard color. Um, if it doesn't work correctly, let me just try and change something, see if it does anything. No, it's not going to show you, but it'll turn a kind of red color if it's not going to work. So once you've put this script in, which I'll have in the description for this video, so you can just copy and paste it straight in, you just replace the URL with your own. And once that's done, you'll notice that if we go to play and we test our story, there is no sound. And this is what will trip you up if you don't know. You cannot debug like in test play or go to play and hear the sound. So you will think that it's not working, but actually it is. The only way you can test it to make sure it does work is go to your story, go publish to file, and then publish it just to your desktop. I'm gonna replace the one that I've already got there and we're just going to call it example story yes i'll replace that file then when it's on your desktop and you've got a html file just right click open with google chrome if you're on windows i'm not sure how you if you can just right click and open it with google chrome but you need to open it with um, a browser that is fully compatible and at the moment i'm finding google chrome is the best so if i open this now and i've got my self-contained project you'll see that now the music is playing. I'll turn it up so you can hear it. And you can play your game. Okay, let's turn that off. So essentially what it will do is if you look at the code, it's set to play and loop. So if you take the loop part out of the code correctly, then it will not loop. It will just play the music once and then end. But we're telling it to play the music on a loop all the way through the game. And that's how you add the code in. Now, if you try and use a normal URL for some music, you'll find it will not work. It has to be a file that's accessible in a separate window like this. So if I click on it again, I'll stop the music. So if it opens up in a window with a little player like this, that's the URL you need. If I tried using it on uh, Dropbox, but it just didn't work. So I've used it with creating your own website. And I'm going to show you how you can very quickly, completely for free, create your own web page and you can add your files in, including images, so that you can link them to your Twine project. So bear with me and I will show you quickly how you can make 
your own page like this. So what I would suggest you do is use this website Yola and Yola is a free website builder that you can optionally pay for extras like um, if you want a very specific name you know I don't know digitalexposure.com or something like that you can pay for that and if you want extra features you can pay for that but otherwise you can complete you can make a completely free website and it's just like uh, using Wix or um, you know Squarespace and stuff like that but I would suggest using this one because I can show you how to quickly set a website up in a few minutes so you just click start for free and it'll ask you to create a password and have an email address and stuff like that. I'm just going to log in because I already have an account. So once you've created your account, um, obviously I've already got one, go to your dashboard, which will bring you up to this page and then go to add new site. And again, this is completely free. If you want optional extras to pay for, that's completely up to you. But I'm just showing you how to do a completely free web page. So then we're going to pick a um, template. I will just pick this one for now. And you just click Use Template. And then you want a name for your website. I'm just going to call it Temp Assets. And it'll ask you, do you want to finish the setup by adding your address and phone number and stuff? You do not have to do this. Just click, no thanks, I'll do this later. And then with any luck, it will build you a basic website using a template. So you can edit all of these things and each one is in a box. So I'm just gonna delete all of these boxes just so that we have a blank page basically. So you, you go over to the top right, there's a little cross, you can delete it. Do you wanna delete this widget? Yes. And just quite simply go through and delete your widgets because all you want really is to uh, just have your assets. You want your pictures and your audio for your Twine game, don't you? So there we go. We've got basically a blank, blank page now. Just delete that last one. So now the question is, how do you add your music, sound effects and pictures to this site? Now, all you do is go over to here where it says popular go over to media and then where it says file, drag that file somewhere onto the page, wherever you want your asset to be. Okay. And then it'll ask you to upload your file. Now I've left a little um, folder on my desktop called audio and it's got a sound effect and music. We're doing the music at the moment. So I just click on this music piece, which is make me a bird by electric people. And I'm going to open that file up. It'll take a, about a minute to upload because I don't know how many megabytes it is. Be sure that the file is in MP3 format. Otherwise, it may not work. Um, I know for a fact that MP3 format works. So that's why I would suggest using it. Once your file is uploaded, it's already selected by default. Then just click select. And now your file is on the page. Now all you need to do is add any other files that you want to use in your project like pictures or audio. And once you've done that, click publish on the top right hand corner here and it will ask you what you want your website to be called. Now there's two options. There's the completely free option which we're going to use on the bottom. And what that does is say if you wanted, I don't know, uh, jumpingjohn.com. Uh, if you want a free version, it'd be jumpingjohn.yolasite.com, which means you get the Yola site bit on the end because it's free. If you want to get rid of that, you pay £7.95 per year. So we want it completely free. So we're just going to select that tempassets.yolasite.com and we'll go to next and it will publish our site. Once you have published your site, it will come up and it will tell you the link here on the top. So click on that. And there we go. There is our new really basic site. You can obviously edit it however you would like. And there is our music file. So we click on the music file and there we are. It's playing. And we take that URL from that playing uh, sound. And then we go back to our story, JavaScript. And you simply paste that link in instead of the enter URL here or whatever 
URL is there. And if it works, it will stay that mustard color, which it has. Okay. So then to test it, remember, play it, press and play. You will not hear any music or any sounds. You need to go to your story, publish to file, and then save it somewhere where you're going to find it. I'm going to replace the one on the desktop again. And then we open with Google Chrome. And there you go. I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear it. The music is playing while we go through our story. And the music will loop over and over again. Okay, so that's how you can get your music to loop in the background. And just as one additional extra, if you've created a uh, page with Yola, let's go back there so that it looks like this and you've got your, your music file there. If you would like to um, have this page locked so that only you can access it, all you need to do is once you've set up your page and you've put your files in, go to navigation and you'll see you've got your home page there and that's the page where we saved it on whichever page you save it on and there's a little padlock if you click the padlock it will give you the option of a login and a password so we're going to press test we'll call it test login and password is test and go ok and then click ok on there and it will save that and now when you publish your website We've got it open still there. So we'll publish it. And when it's published, we go to the link. And now it's asking us to log in and add a password. So test and test, submit. And then we've got access to the website. And the, even though this um, website is now locked with a password and a username, you can still use the link from your music to go into your JavaScript. It's that simple. So that's all you have to do. Thank you for watching. Please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, and social media. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful, and please subscribe for more videos.